Hello, everybody. How's it going today? Good, thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay, well, I, I, uh, I'm going to start uh, now, even though it's a couple of minutes early, a couple of minutes before uh, 11, my time. Um, I, don't, I don't know if more people are going to show up, but uh, regardless, I'm very, very excited that, uh, that you guys have come. Uh, thank you so much for attending this, uh, this event. This one is going to be a little bit more on the informal side just because, um, hey, it was a crazy week, <laughs> so um, especially here in America, so I didn't have a ton of time to prepare, but I just thought that I would uh, take this opportunity today to take you guys through just some of the basics of the film festival, the Antinatalist Film Festival, um, show you guys Film Freeway, which is um, the best and most recommended way for people to submit their films to the film festival. Um, and then I thought we could, uh, you know, unfortunately I can only do this session today for an hour. So, um, you know, we might not get to everything, but I'm hoping there's gonna be time to maybe uh, all of us can, you know, shoot around some ideas on films or videos that um, that we have in mind to submit to the festival. Um, so yeah, so um, so I am just sort of gonna do a short presentation, uh, but there'll be a chance, I'm sure, for us to uh, to talk in just a little while. Um, so if any, if everybody can, everybody see my my uh, my my screen? Are we? I see it. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Uh, oh, Anugra's here. Here, but yeah, I think it, it is eleven now, so I am going to begin. Thank you so much to all, all of you for coming today mm -hmm. to the first, um, the first of many, I will add, um, info sessions mm -hmm. for the Antinatalism Film Festival. Oh my God, is that really in Mendham? Um, I think <laughs> here. Um, so yes. Uh, well, let, let's let let's let Gary come in. Oh, this is <laughs> Gary in the house. <laughs> yeah, is that, is that you, Gary? <laughs> You never know. It can be. It's uh, can all too easily uh, be an imposter. Well, I hope I hope it is you, Gary. Welcome. Um, so we are going to begin. Uh, as I said, this is the going to be the first of many info sessions to the Antinatalism Film Festival. Um, it is going to be a bit of an informal sort of presentation today, because uh, as I was saying a little earlier, hey, it's been a crazy week, especially here in mm -hmm. America. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take everybody through um, Film Freeway, which is the platform that I very much recommend anybody interested in submitting a film to the festival to get an account with. It is completely free and it's sort of the industry standard for submitting films to film festivals. Um, now I'll just say because there are only, only a couple of us here, if you are in fact interested in submitting a film to the film festival um, and you just want to contact me, that's okay too. Um, but I would in fact like people to use Film Freeway um, because I want to encourage people to be filmmakers, um, to be video makers, to be professional. Um, and again, Film Freeway is sort of an industry standard and it's an excellent way to stay abreast of film festivals and to submit your work. So um, can everybody see the website I have uh, up at the minute? Can everybody see this, the screen that I'm sharing? Yeah, I see the screen, yeah. Okay, excellent. So this is Film Freeway. So I, I'm essentially signed into my account right now. Um, and I just kind of want to show you guys what basically Film Freeway is. So Film Freeway is a place where uh, pretty much any and every film festival ha uh, creates a listing. Um, and it's just this huge ser searchable database mm. of you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of different, of different film mm. festivals. Um, so if you were to, if you are a very strange filmmaker like myself, you could type in the term weird and find, you know, a million different, well, not a million, but I'm just, I, you know, uh, but you could find many, many, you know, uh, film festivals that would sort of fit um, your particular work. Um, and there's, there's all kinds of ways that they have uh, to help, you know, organize all of this information. You know, uh, if, you, if you have a short film, uh, there's, you know, great, they, they curate it really, really well to like show you all these different ones that you can apply to. Um, the prices on applying to different film festivals ranges enormously uh, from, you know, nothing to uh, very expensive. It's submitting to some film festivals is extremely expensive, unfortunately. Um, 
the antinatalist film festival is in fact free. So that is excellent. Um, part of yeah. the reason why I want to show you guys the search function uh, on Film Freeway is that unfortunately, and I believe this is very recent, probably only within the last year or so, um, Film Freeway uh, allows online screening events such as the Antinatalist Film Festival to list their events on the website, but it is not in fact searchable in this database. Um, so if I was to put the word antinatalism or antinatalist, I should say, um, you can't actually see it. But despite the fact that it is better never to have been, it does in fact exist. And here it is. Um, and the reason why I'm making this point is because uh, it is of paramount in paramount importance that if you uh, if you like the antinatalism film uh, antinatalist fil film festival, if you know anybody at all who you think might be interested in producing a film for it or submitting a, a video of some kind to it, please, please, please share the link. I cannot stress that enough. Um, please make sure that you're sharing this link around to anybody and every everyone anywhere and everyone that you think might be interested uh, because it really is the uh, one of the only ways that the festival can be seen because it is not searchable in a database because the first year of the film festival will be entirely an online screening event. Now that's not the projected future of the Antinatalist Film Festival. Um, I, I'm, I'm quite certain that in future years, we will be able to do the festival in you know, a real location um, somewhere in the world that, you know, I'm sure the first one will be in Chicago. Um, but you know, I, I do, we do have absolute plans of making this a true um, you know, in-person live event. Um, you know, because of coronavirus, especially on top of a, sort of a myriad of other uh, circumstances, that, that just was not possible this year. Um, but that is the goal for next year. So yes. next year, it will be it will be visible. Um, okay, so now that we've sort of taken you through Film Freeway, again, please make an account. It is free to make uh, make an account. Uh, there, are, of course, are you know scaled up options should you wish to uh, to pay a little extra uh, on Film Freeway. And I just want to say, you know, hashtag non-spons. I'm not sponsored by Film Freeway. I just I use it all the time. It's an excellent tool. So. Um, I'm just giving you sort of the ins and outs of it. Um, but yes, I do encourage everybody to make an account there. Uh, again, because, you know, the Antinatalist Film Festival might not be the only festival you want to dip your toes into. And I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, but once again, uh, you do not need to select any of the scaled up paid option uh, options on Film Freeway. Um, to submit to the Antinatals Film Festival because again, the festival is free. Um, all right, so uh, this is the, the basically the front page of the Antinatals Film Festival. You can find it on the Antinatalism International website. Mm -hmm. It's featured uh, within the slider as well as the, um, what is it called? The initiatives section. Um, and I'm just gonna take us through this uh, real quick for those that haven't got a chance to, to look at it yet. So let me read it. The Antinatalist Film Festival is a historic, first of its kind event founded by Antinatalism International, ANI, an organization dedicated to the advancement of the philosophy of antinatalism. Antinatalism International, ANI, is the world's first explicitly anti procreative international organization, besides the Church of Euthanasia, founded in the summer of 2020 by a committed group of six antinatalist thinkers, ANI was established to help the, help facilitate the entrance of antinatalist philosophy into the, uh, please turn off your mics. Me? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, if you don't turn off your mic, Nico, okay, you did. Okay, good. Can anybody, is anyone still hearing Nico? No, okay, we're good. All right. You need me to turn mine off? Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, that'd be great. No worries. Okay, thank you. Uh, where was I? Uh, ANI. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, okay. Oh, no. okay, if you can turn off your mic and let me finish, then we can talk later, okay? Thanks so much. All right, Antinatalism International, ANI, is the world's first explicitly anti procreative okay, I've read that already, uh, founded in the summer of 2020 by a committed group of six antinatalist thinkers, ANI was established to help facilitate the entrance of antinatalist philosophy into the mainstream consciousness of society. Art, particularly video making, has been an important tool for antinatalist activism, and we felt it was high time to showcase some of the talents of our community, as well as get others involved who might be from a different mindset but perhaps wish to uh, find the subject matter artistically inspired 
inspiring and want to respond creatively. Uh, Wikipedia defines antinatalism or antinatal hyphenism uh, as a philosophical position and social movement that assigns a negative value to birth. Uh, it's an idea that's been with humanity since very early recorded history, but it's only really since, 2000, uh, since the 2006 publication of the philosopher David Benatar's uh, book better never to have been the harm of coming into existence that anti-procreative people have started to collect and truly communicate um, about this idea with each other. Antinatalism International is the natural evolution of this trend. Uh, due to circumstances regarding the COVID-19 pandemic, 2021's Antinatalist Film Festival um, will be entirely hosted online on the Antinatalism International website. We hope, um, however, to be able to host fu uh, future years of the festival as an in-person event, as I was saying earlier. Hey, Pratima, welcome. Um, yeah, we are so excited to see your antinatalism inspired films. And yes, uh, it does need to be stated by that the incredible uh, antinatalism uh, film festival logo was done by the amazing Life Sucks. So uh, link here. Uh, please go send him some love and thank you. Thank him for um, uh, you know uh, donating that incredible logo to us. Uh, prizes will be announced later, and the details on that will be coming ASAP. Yes. So I am basing this a little bit, the prizes and whatnot, on how many submissions we get. Um, but I can tell you that the grand prize will actually be a sculpture uh, medal award thing of some kind that I'm working on. So more information on that soon. But there will also, um, you know, I hope that I will be able to award a second and third prize, which will be a goodie bag of, of various antinatalist uh, swag and things. Uh, of, of, of various types. All right, uh, so let's go over the rules and terms. The first edition of the Antinatalist Film Festival will take place online between October 1st and October 31st of 2021. So yes, it will go the entire uh, month of, of uh, this coming October on the Antinatalism International website. Film submission rules. Now, these are very important. All films must comply with the following conditions to be submitted. Uh, all film video submissions must deal with the subject of anti-procreation in some way. Now, I'm a forgiving person. It doesn't have to be a um, some sort of, you know, real hard and heavy statement on antinatalist philosophy. It can, it can be using the concept of anti-procreation in a very light way. Um, but so long as it deals with uh, anti-procreation in some kind of way, um, then I will probably be satisfied, and it will probably be um, it will probably be accepted. I do reserve antinatalism international period reserves the right to reject, however, whatever films we feel do not fit um, the purpose of the festival. Um, you may submit features. You may submit documentaries. You may submit animated pieces, music videos artistic videos of all kinds, as well as film debate videos. Now that one is very important. Um, I do want to feature, you know, one of the, one of the most incredible things that we have that have, that's come out of the antinatalist uh, community over, over the last 10 years is a wealth of, of video making, you know, on YouTube, much of which is debate. Um, I would, you know, I would, I would love it if it was a, in a little bit more of a structured fashion of some kind. Um, uh, but really, there aren't any real rules attached to that, essentially. Um, you know, if you have a, a particularly badass debate that you've done that you'd like to um, submit, then you're more than welcome to. Now, my initial feeling on, on um, my initial intention was to create full on um, categories. Now, it's a very common thing on Film Freeway. When they list a festival, there's individual categories. I thought for this year, especially because it's going to be one online screening event, that just goes an entire month. I thought it was a little too difficult to do that um, this particular year. So, and I, and I just thought it, it, it created too much uncertainty about what could be submitted um, at this particular time. So I, it's just one giant category. You know, I really just want to see anything and everything you guys think might be a good fit for the festival. Um, submissions in all languages are indeed welcome. Um, so I don't want anybody to hesitate to submit their film to the festival if it's in a language 
um, other than English or other than a, a language that's a, a, another language that's not spoken by one of the founders. Um, it may create a, a circumstance where we like we're going to have to find somebody that can do a, some subtitles or, or some kind of translation work on it. Um, I don't want your submission to be at a disadvantage. I mean, I have had that problem in the um, the why are you an anti-natalist contest that I do every uh, every year, you know, where people submit video videos in other languages. And I, I like either, you know, I, I want to embrace them as much as I can, but I can't necessarily, you know, I can't understand what they're saying. So those videos are at a little bit of a, at a disadvantage. The lovely thing is that, hey, we're doing this festival as a part of Antinatalism International. And we, you know, the, the uh, as Anugra and Pratima can attest to, we're really, really, really doing our best to put our feelers out there, finding people from all different, uh, that, you know, speak all different languages um, and, and, and sort of, uh, you know, taking them on as, as a, a lot, many people have volunteered, you know, to do translation work. So chances are, um, there, I'm certainly there'll be exceptions, but chances are if your film is in a language um, other than English, we will be able to, you know, welcome your, uh, we'll certainly be able to welcome the film, but we may also be able to help do some translation work on it and make it more accessible to everybody. And that's, that's definitely something I'd like to see uh, happen from all this. Um, films can be of any age or date of completion. So that's very, very, very important. A lot of film festivals, you know, it has to be new work. It has to be made within the last six months. It has to be made in, 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 in the last year. Um, there are reasons for that. For some festivals, that makes a lot of sense. For this one, I don't think it does, especially since it's a very niche topic. So, um, you know, there may actually be some sort of legacy uh, older antinatalist films that are shown in in um, in this uh, in this festival. I'm working on that. Um, but yeah, so if you have a video that is a you know that's fantastic and it's of an artistic nature of some kind, but it's five years old, fantastic. You know, if it's public on YouTube already. Don't worry about it at all. It's it's perfectly fine to give it a new audience. Um, you know that's something I've always believed in is you know <laughs> make make the old content work for you as much as you can. So you know find a new audience for it wherever possible. So we welcome older uh, older work. Um, submission entries are free. Um, I hope to be able to keep that uh, as a thing in all the years to come. Uh, for for this one especially, it didn't make any goddamn sense to charge people a penny. To submit to the festival so um you know that is another reason you know if you have if you if you've got a young filmmaker in your life that maybe wants the challenge to you know pro, you know in the next couple of months produce a short um antinatalist piece or a piece that 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 revolves around the subject of anti-procreation in any kind of way um they're not going to have the added stress of having to pay uh, anything to submit the film so all are welcome and the submissions are free um only the entrants whose films are selected will be notified. We are not able to inform individual applicants about the rejection uh, or, or, or its reason at this time. And that's just a logistical thing. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's uh, you know, I've been rejected from festivals in the past and gotten some nice letters from people explaining why, but those are, you know, those are festivals with gigantic um, uh, staff. If it's possible, you know, um, I will do it, but, more often than not, you're only really going to hear back if your film has been submitted. Um, so official selections. Official selections will be made by a jury of antinatalists. More information regarding the jury panel coming soon. So yes, that is being assembled as we speak, sort of, kind of. Um, I have some ideas in mind, wink, wink, um, on who I'd like to be on that uh, jury panel. So more information on that soon. Um, official selections will be announced September 31st, 2021. So you do have quite a lot of time um, at the minute to, to produce something or find a, you know, a film that is perhaps a little older to submit. Um, there are several different um, due dates uh, working up to that, to that September 31st final due date, but we'll go over those in a little bit. Uh, but you do have some some time. There will be several winners and prizes. I already said that basically more on this soon. All official selections will be screened on the Antinatalism International website. So yes, I have said that already. Uh, it'll be a part of the website and they, I'm pretty sure they'll just stream 24 seven in a loop. I think that's <clears throat> the plan at the minute. Um, uh, submissions. Films may sub be submitted electronically via Film Freeway only, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a second here. Uh, it's really, really easy. Um, the final submission deadline 
is, yes, the final submission deadline is July 31st, um, 2021. So that, I confused myself. So the, the, the submission deadline that is final is July 31st, 2021. Um, and you will receive word on if, you know, your film has been selected September 31st. Um, I gave a nice amount of time in between that time because it may take quite a lot of time to review a lot of movies. So um, a lot of pieces. Uh, the person submitting the film gives their permission to screen the film during the festival and during other events promoting the festival arranged by the organizer with no screening fee. So that's also very important. Please know that if you're submitting a film or a short, uh, short video piece or whatever you're submitting, A&I does have reserve the right to be able to use like a little clip of your film um, in future use. Uh, especially if you win, um, you know, we, we're not going to, you know, so, and, and, you know, I, I'm always a huge firm believer in communication. So if we, you know, I, I'm quite positive, should we wish to use something that you've made, we'll contact you. Um, but just as a sort of a, you know, a, a thing right up front, you know, that is something we'd like to be able to do. Um, I will also say, you know, looking to the, the future of antinatalism international, one of the things that we most hope to do, you know, hopefully when things from coronavirus die down, hopefully when things open up again, hopefully when it's safer for people to congregate, um, you know, we do want to start local chapters of antinatalism international, um, you know, around the world. I mean, there's already some interest in that happening. Um, and so we'd like to sort of do, you know, be able to facilitate many antinatalist film festivals in local locations. Um, and so, you know, again, we'll, all will be communicated, but should that happen, um, you know, we'd like to be able to sort of offer people a package of already shown films at the big festival um, so that they can have their own little mini festival. So that is something that, uh, you know, just to keep in mind. Um, film copies, whoops, 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 and I just completely hid what I meant to say. Um, the film copies, once selected, should be sent electronically via an online link. Yes, so that is true. Um, however, when you make your account on Film Freeway, you, it will ask you essentially to upload uh, a copy of your film. So that's, you know, that's p part of the reason why you're submitting through Film Freeway is that on your account, which again, I'll go over in a little bit, um, you know, we'll all, your account will have your film uploaded. The reason for this rule or this statement here is that generally what people do is upload sort of a, a, a lesser quality copy of the film uh, onto Film Freeway. But then once the actual festival, you know, once the film has been selected and the festival's on, um, you should probably send like a higher quality copy and that can be sent electronically. And the other reason for stating this, even though it sounds kind of obvious, is that like if you have an amazing antinatalist film, but it's shot on 16 millimeter, you know, or 35 millimeter or something like that, I'm not able to process your, your film. You know what I mean? Like it has to be, it has to be electronically processed and sent to me electronically. We're not able to show, um, you know, solid state actual film reels and that kind of thing. Um, con uh, contact us if you are seeking subtitles, we may be able to help. So again, uh, films, video work in all languages are welcome if you want to contact us ahead of time because you have some concerns about your film being in a, uh, a language other than English and you'd like some help, let us help you. Please contact us. You can contact me anytime at amanda at antinatalisminternational.com. You can also contact all of us at info at antinatalisminternational.com. Please feel free to do so. Um, Submitting a film to the Antinatalist Film Festival is equivalent to the acceptance of the conditions set out above in the rules and terms. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so there are a couple of different uh, deadlines for submissions. Um, March 31st is the early bird deadline. Now in a regular festival that's been around a couple of years that has, um, you know, an actual like, uh, it's being shown in the theater and all that a little more established. Sometimes the, the multiple deadlines have a little bit more weight attached to them, you know, as far as what's accepted. That's not really the case here, but, um, you know, I just thought they would sort of make good mental markers for people of how much time they had left. So there is still a lot of time. March 31st is the first date you have to, um, first deadline. May 31st is the next deadline. July 31st is the late deadline. Um, and August 31st, 
is, uh, it says here is the notification date, but I believe it's actually supposed to be September 31st. I'll fix that later. And the event date is uh, October 31st, no, October 1st to October 31st. Um, so yeah, so that does it basically for the page itself. I'm gonna quickly show you how to submit a film. Um, and then perhaps, you know, let's talk about, let's talk about some of your ideas in the time that we have left. We'll have probably about a half hour left. And I think that'll be a good thing to do. So, um, I thought the easiest way to do this was to just show you my account, my, my old account on Film Freeway from when I was submitting the Ethelist to, uh, to festivals. So this is my account. Uh, this is, this is the, the Ethelist's page on my account. This page is not public. So as you can see, I have the full film uh, uploaded here in, in horrific, awful quality, just so it's visible, <laughs> you know, basically. Uh, so, if, so if I were to submit this to a festival, they would immediately be able to go watch the movie. Um, there's, Film Freeway presents you with all kinds of options as to like what you can show the prospective um, you know, festival about your film. So I also have like a trailer, which apparently doesn't work right. Well, no, no, why, why isn't it working? Why aren't you working? I don't know why that's not working. But the fest the, the trailer should be there. Uh, images, you know, from the, from the movie. These are some production stills from the movie are here. You're not required to add any of this. This is just like, I'm just basically showing what the possibilities are. Again, I want you to submit to the Antinatalist Film Festival, but I also want Ant the Antinatalist cinematic voice to spread its wings far and wide. So I hope that the Antinatalist Film Festival is maybe your first festival, but that's another reason why I'm encouraging people to make a Film Freeway account and to you know flesh out the, the pages for each of their films because this will help more antinatalist films get submitted to other festivals. So this is one of the old posters from the Ethelist. Um, and then there's like a tagline and, you know, bio, all that kind of crap. So again, you're not required to do any of that. Um, but those are some of the things that you, that you can do. So if I were to go to back to the antinatalist film festival page and i went hey i got an antinatalism movie it's called the ethelist um i'm good i want to submit it so i'd hit submit now i'd select uh the ethelist um i it's free and then i add it to the cart and then i do complete order now i'm not actually submitting the ethelist to the antinatalist film festival I actually, and I'm not going to submit uh, click s a complete order because actually I'm not sure what it's going to show me at that point. It may show it may show information that prying eyes must not see. But I'm just trying to show you it's that easy. It's super super easy to submit a film, uh, and I hope that you will. So um, I have spieled and rambled on at length for about a half hour. Um, we've sort of learned more about Film Freeway, the accounts that you can create on there the visibility of the festival. Again, the most important thing you can do uh, for the film festival moving forward is to share, share, share that link with anybody and everybody you think might be interested. Please encourage people to submit. I will be doing a lot more advertising for the festival in uh, the rest of this month, the months to come. There will be one film festival uh, info session a month. Um, so the next one, I believe, will be on February 21st. Um, and hopefully they'll be much longer than this one. Got a meeting right after this, so I <laughs> couldn't do it for longer than an hour. But again, we have a half hour left. So if anybody would like to, um, you know, just talk about, uh, have any questions, we can do sort of a Q&A. Uh, and perhaps uh, you guys can tell me a little bit about the projects you might want to submit. Gary, is your hand raised? Uh, I believe it is. Hey, uh, how's it going? I'm here right now. Okay. I didn't know you had a uh, Zoom account. I'm happy you're here. <clears throat> yeah, I really don't. I just did the browser thing, so I can't do the video, but the oh, audio okay. seems to work. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, <clears throat> That's just one one little thing. It's just the, you know, the link. You probably should always have the website updated with the link as like a first option. You know, the link wasn't on the website for the film festival. You know, you had oh. to kind of look for this link to this room. I know, you know, I know it's a, yeah. you know, the new link every time you create a room or whatever yeah. well i'm just saying it's 
it was a little bit of a hassle just finding the link. But anyway, yes. because I don't do Facebook and I don't do right. Twitter and I don't do all that crap and, you know, blah, blah, well, blah. Well, I, I was, I was going to – I honestly – Gary, I was going to send you the Zoom link because I knew you were interested in, in like, coming to some of these. But I, I, for, I didn't think you had a Zoom account, and I forgot that you can still do it on the, on the browser. But, yeah, so we've had a bit of trouble adding the link to the festival information on the slider on the top of the website. But there is a link – to it on the initiatives page but yeah you're right it's like it's like a little harder to find so i yeah I well, well, I, well i just mean you it's like it's on a youtube video and you really can't go to the room from the youtube video know. you know what i mean it's, it's yeah not yeah. really um i'm just saying no no <laughs> I, agree. Saying. I agree with you yeah I, i'm complaining just just say no, no no i tried something different this time because what, what what like they've been sending all these warning like zoom internally has been sending all these well to people that have accounts they've been sending these messages of like you know don't share the information of the rooms ahead of time or don't post them anywhere on social media so like i posted the link literally minutes before i even started it on twitter and facebook and like i yeah it's like i and on discord so it's like I'm, I've, been, I've just been trying to keep it more private so it doesn't get overrun by trolls and, you know, certain trolls. That we yeah, well, I just mean that of. people who don't do those social yeah, media yeah. things are kind of out of luck because most of those places don't let you see the pages you're yeah. linking to. So, yeah. uh, on the shadow I can. Right. I got to find a solution to that, definitely. But, um, yeah, the other issue is, you know, I'm, I'm kind of for this in a way. Uh, it's yeah. just that I, I'm more focused on, um, you know, not – I'm more focused on the, the idea of using this as a method of persuasion than I am sure. as a method of artistic expression. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, from my perspective, um, you know, it's not so much telling the whole story as it is getting people interested in hearing the story. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so, yeah, it's, I, you know, I'm sort of thinking it as just a commercial mechanism. Like, you don't need a film. What you need is sure. 15 good seconds or 30 good seconds or sure. 60 good seconds and you know that to me seems like that would have more um you know running power than you know a whole like i said your movie's great but somebody has to be interested enough to watch it hey. and first they, they have to get that interest from right something you know right. and and i just think that maybe that's um part of what i would like to sort of um promote and like you know i'm thinking you know i can afford to spend some money on it like i can you know offer some money as prizes in those kind of categories i'm you know i'm just not um i'm not you know i'm not as interested in somebody making a full-length feature film right. you know that's yeah. just really yeah. great you know what i'm you know what i'm saying if they're going to make a great movie then i'm going to say great yeah i'll do whatever sure. i can to support that but i just mean some you know just posting one of my old videos i could say oh yeah that's a film uh, sure, well, no, sure, sure. no it really isn't you know right. but but then that's the other catch i just wanted to mention was um you know i could take some of those gray videos and post those but i don't really yeah. own them but they're sort of public i mean what, what what's the line you draw about the content having to be um your own content i mean yeah that's a good that's a good question so if it's if it's like you know, if you're, if you're, if you're posting, you're not allowed to post like a Disney film, you know, that you think has that, that some. Well, well, yeah, obviously we know that yeah. the overt copyright problem, but I just mean, you know, say if I took clips from somebody else's videos that are public on YouTube, um, I would say technically that's fair use and I, technically, yeah. uh, technically you wouldn't be in any jeopardy for giving a prize to somebody who made a video out of that content because right. you don't have a commercial interest and the person who made it didn't have a commercial interest. So yeah. It's just, it's legitimate, but do you? I mean, have you? Do you have any rule against it? I don't have a rule against it. I would I would say that if look, look if somebody is doing that and it's of a nature that is uh, malicious, then I wouldn't accept it. But if not, then I don't particularly have a rule against that. I wouldn't be against that. I mean, I I would. I mean, I don't think you would be against having, you know, say, Gray submitting some of, you know, his old videos. Well, I was way. thinking of submitting them, even if he yeah. does it. So, yeah, so yeah. that's part of the problem is you might get some redundancy because people are yeah. just sending you suggested videos, you, you know, that they've downloaded and re-uploaded that aren't their content. So I'm just saying, I, you know, obviously that could be logistically uh, unpleasant for you if you get, you know, it might. 50, it might. 50 people sending in a bunch of YouTube videos that you've already seen. <laughs> Um, you know, 
I'm, I'm, I am going to have to do that on a case by case basis and just see what it is. And it, you know, if, if some of that, some of that old work should be highlighted, some of that old work should be seen again. Well, may, you know, maybe she just put in a clause that just says you can submit other people's work, but you can't take a prize for it. You know, maybe that's a good idea. Something, yeah. You yeah. Know, something like that, just yeah. to prevent people from trying to get a prize for somebody else's work, you know, or yeah. something like yeah. that. I mean, if I submit Gray's video, Obviously, I shouldn't get the prize. <laughs> oh, he'd probably oh, let you have the prize, but but I know no, what you're saying. You're, I agree. You know no, I agree saying. with you. No, it's a great idea. I think I will do that. I think that's a. I think that's a great idea. Um, and as for just because you brought up like commercial work or like thirty second clips, that's completely allowed. Like I, I, I mean, that's what I sort of hope will happen. Is yeah, I mean that's why I cut the F list into tiny little chunks because I also believe in that the power of that like short clips and what people can garner from uh what people can how people can be persuaded by short statements as opposed to long statements i just well, i just think in the long run and I, uh, yeah yeah you know, i think we're going to have to realize you you know not only do you have to do the social media thing but you actually have to do like everybody else you have to get into this realm of commercialized mm -hmm. um reality mm -hmm. where you have to buy yourself some voice you know you have to sure. pay for a voice and and we it'd be good if we had products that you know we could use to you yeah. know uh you know do that kind of advertising yeah i mean i i feel like the festival in some ways is like i'm 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 fishing for that i'm hope i'm hoping that people start to produce that kind of content um and again that's why I want and I'm hoping that I can expand this festival more and you know beyond like this year because it is the first year like I'm I mean I, sh I probably shouldn't say this out loud but like I'm, I'm kind of going to be happy for what I get I don't know what the involvement you know rate is going to be um yeah and so well, I'm just I, I I'm kind of making I, yeah. uh, I plan on making some videos you know oh I'd promoting. love it that, please Gary. so so so, so um yeah. because like I said I was thinking of offering some money myself just for people to make oh, some sort of graceful um you know put together some images some voiceovers some quick little spiel okay that might get somebody interested to click and you know just on the subject of you know the world's in a real problem here sure. let's do you know yeah. let's focus yeah. on the fact that there's you know even if you don't believe humans suck um there's still too many of them yeah. <laughs> you know well we could we could we could make i don't have any uh objection to like what if, what if we made that uh a special section of the of the film festival that's in mendham's challenge i can add some money to that pile because i'd like to see that as well so we can make sure that that um yeah well, that I'm not idea really tries to get i know you're not prohibiting you know, I'm, I'm just saying like i think that that's a great idea so i mean if we can uh and then if you want gary if because i i was going to ask you anyway for the rest of the festival but i mean if you want to be a juror on that section that would be amazing yeah, I, I don't mind. You know, I just certainly, you know, my opinion is probably as good as anybody else's. But you know, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything called an expert in, uh, you know, human persuasion. <laughs> so, but yeah, well, fine. Well, no, I mean, but, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I, I will, I would definitely like to add that to the festival. I think that's a great idea. So, um, but. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I, 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 I am, I don't honestly know what to expect. Like, I, I do expect that some people will submit older videos. I'd, I mean, people are kind of welcome to submit their why I'm an antinatalist video uh, that, uh, th you know, those older videos that they've done in the past. Um, if we get some feature films out of it, that'd be great. If we get some short films, that'd be great. If we get some documentaries, I'd love it. I mean, there still really hasn't been an antinatalism documentary. And uh, as much as short form persuasion is important, I do sort of feel like there is a growing hunger for a documentary about this. I mean, I'm kind of working on one, but it'll take a while. Um, so yeah, I, I really just, I, my biggest hope is we get a whole diff wealth of different kind of content. And yeah, well, the first year is always tough, but I just year. mean, yeah. the, the future would be you'd really want to have a real prize eventually, you know, and a yeah. real, you know, like, like to really encourage people to put in the time, you know, like this is yeah. a real option for making some money and all that kind of crap. And, you know, that's oh, the yeah. real, you know, unfortunately, you do have to 
you know, all no, nothing's free in life. And this is just sure. another example where you're, you're not going to get nothing for nothing, you know? Sure. So, you sure. know, all the only people where, you know, the only people where we have are the people who are already passionate about the subject and they may not be the most creative in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, yeah. sometimes even they, they might have the idea, but they need to pay somebody else, yeah. you know, to do yeah. the graphics or they need somebody else to do the editing or they need yeah. somebody else to do some other thing. And so if we can add some money to the, to the pot, you know, that yeah. certainly over time will, you know, create a higher quality and a higher, you know, higher standard and all of those things that are good. Yeah. But yeah, the first yeah. year you're, you're, you know, what's what well, you can't have any expectations for a first year. Well, the other, the other thing too that I was saying earlier is that this year is also a bit crippled in the fact that the listing on Film Freeway is, I mean, it's there, it's shareable, but it's not public. You can't search for it in the Film, Film Freeway database of festivals. So it's, a, it's even more hidden, like, you know, the, the, the random brilliant filmmaker who maybe just wants a challenge, you know, whip together a, like a little short film, uh, you know, because they see a listing there and it's an opportunity isn't going to have that in front of their face. Well, well what, what if this for, for another option yeah. would, would be to take the submissions and say, you know, if we took the f top 10 pieces of, of persuasion created, whatever, you know, uh, let's say it's an average of five minutes or whatever mm -hmm. on average. And you took that content like your, like your movie, mm -hmm. it was a really a, a series of movies, you know, a little movies yeah. built yeah. into a movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you part of the festival could be this idea that we're going to take a compilation of those commercials yeah, and just yeah. stick them together. Okay. We'll put them together into a half hour and then submit that to the other film festivals, you know, yeah, submit I love that idea. product of yeah. the collective work, you know, yeah. because they'll, they'll be seamless in the sense they're all on the same subject yeah. and they'll just yeah. be very different artistic ways of saying buy Coke, Coke is better than Pepsi, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, because that does work. I mean, Super Bowl commercials become TV shows. Yes. So, yes. you know, in theory, we could do the same thing. So we're also giving that artist the opportunity to be part of a film that actually has a real chance in a real festival, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it, so it's like it's all working towards this big collaborative project of one film. I mean, it, that is sort of what I was hoping people were going to do with the F-List. Like, that's why I made all, like, I mean, all, yeah, like all the clips for it I made so people could like take them and add onto it. That didn't end up happening, but with maybe a cash prize attached to it, as you're saying. Well, I'm just saying, know, if you took your, your Frankenstein yeah. clip, you know, in these other clips yeah. with different people doing different interpretations, I'm just saying to me, that could almost be a priceless piece of art just because yeah. it not only yeah. keeps your interest because even if you don't like one segment, you know, two minutes from now, there's going to be something new that's going to flash at you. Right. So, I mean, it, it has a lot of appeal in terms of being something that can be more universal, you know, more, um, you know, I'm just saying as a, as a creative product, Yeah, I think it has a real chance of having some yeah. real interest in a real, in a real film festival. Yeah, no, I think that's a great idea. I mean, if we can't do it this year based on just what we get, um, then let's make that a goal for next year. But I don't I actually don't see why we, well, well I think that would always couldn't make that. That would be part of that's just part of the background, something that would always be built. Well, so, obviously, yeah. we also have to do this creative work of putting the pieces together creatively. So that's yeah. going to take some time anyway. So yeah, yeah, it would always be there'd always be some lag between sure what sure. what we've selected in our festival, and yeah. then the year later we'll submit it to another festival after yeah. we've you know put it together in some creative way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a that's a brilliant idea for 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 scaling this up. So I love that completely. Well, I, I mean, you know, listen, I am, a, <laughs> it's been a crazy fucking year so far. I'm a little behind in like my advertising push for this whole thing, but um, yeah, I'd like to sort of add that definitely to, to uh, you know, the intent of, of, of this festival. Again, you know, I just, I just don't know. I don't know what we're going to get this year. I mean, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm basically excited for anything. That well, you're going to get see. something because I, yeah. you know, I'm going to make some effort to make some kind of stupid thing. So I'll try to make something. So I'm sure you're going to yeah, get right. something out of it. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 you know, I, I wouldn't worry about being skunked, but I mean, obviously this is, like I no. said, the first year you can't have any expectations, yeah. you know? 
Oh, I can't wait to see what you make, Gary. You get out. So I, I've always really liked your, um, I can't remember what the goddamn name of it now is. That, that It was sort of like a sci-fi movie in pieces that you made years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the story. Yeah, with the watermelon some, on my head. I thought some of those. <laughs> so there, there, yeah, there's one where you got the huge Band-Aid on your head, though. I actually thought that was right, a pretty right. powerful. That was a pretty powerful video. Um, but, yeah, so I, 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 you also did, like, a time travel one years ago, too, that I actually saw not long ago. I can't remember what channel it's on, though. I think it's on uh, Just Say No to Kids. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what you make. You also, you, you did these other videos. Too. Remember Laura Layla and Fred did a festival years ago at, at uh, Fred's old college? No. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. nothing ever came of that. They were going to do it year after year, but it only, it, there was only one of them. Um, yeah. And that was, that, I don't know, that was around the Vlogger Dome era. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's exciting. Um, I mean, I'd like to make some, st I, I mean, my, I was also hoping that I could make a new edit of the Ephelist for the festival, but I don't know how much sense it makes submitting my own movie to my own festival. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be in the running to win, but just to have it, you know, be visible. Um, cause I am in the process of shooting new stuff for it. Um, uh, <clears throat> yeah, well, I think it always has value to anybody who's who wants an example of, you know, how you, now, like I said, the Frankenstein little skit is just to me a, a perfect piece of, um, drama, you know, that connected you, yeah. to the subject in such a really, you know, perfect way that I, you know, I just, you know, I, that always just sticks out at me and how could somebody watch the this and rest, you know, both by the the art of it and you know the message of it. It's you know so oh, dramatic you, in both cases. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I hope maybe it's rude of me to say, it, but yeah, I think it makes it pretty clear. So yeah, no, I, I think it's, I, th I think it's worth getting new eyeballs on it. Um, so listen, sadly, I, I have to leave at twelve. So I'm, I'm, we've only got a little over. 10 minutes left. I just wanted to open up the floor in case anybody else had like another film idea that they wanted to just, you know, tell us like if they have any ideas of, uh, of something they want to submit. Oh, Ash is here. Hey, Ash. Hey, hey. You should probably, yeah. you should probably submit your, uh, your music video for sure. If you want. I don't know. I don't like to repeat myself. Too I hear you. So maybe uh, I've got an idea for something. Uh, okay, awesome. How practical it is to go about doing it. Ah, that is always the question. So, you can do uh, it. The Ephelis sure as fuck wasn't, wasn't practical. <laughs> but I did it anyway. No, but I that's great. I'd need more than one person, so, but I'll see how it's going. Nice. That's exciting. I think the 30 second persuasion idea by Gary is like, I mean, that's really powerful. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I'm getting so many ideas I can do with just my mobile phone. I don't need a pro, I don't need a professional camera at all. No, uh, so I can click. You know, I I can, I can even click stills and then join it up with some you know uh, appropriate music and make a thirty second, uh, very powerful. Uh, you know, yeah, movie. So that's that's very very great. Yeah, Anugra, please do that. That'd be amazing. Yeah, I should have said that uh, before. Like, um, you know, obviously, like, try not to shoot your movies with, with some form of potato, but, like, you really don't have to have the highest tech, uh, you know, uh, mobile mobile phone cameras of all kinds, perfectly fine. Um, you know, hey, the, the audio in the FLS was certainly not uh, uh, ideal. <laughs> so, um, you know, don't worry too much about the technical end of things. Um, but yeah, just speaking again to the 30 second uh, clip idea. I mean, I love that style of, of filmmaking. Like I loved Vine. I love, I don't like TikTok all that much, but um, you know, just because of the platform itself, but that is definitely, um, it, it's also just what, um, you know, it, it's what I have some experience with actually being able to get attention with Um so I think that's, that's definitely a, a part of the, I did want to stay away this year of making individual categories. Um, but even with one whole category, 
I think that is an excellent idea to sort of push that specifically. And maybe like we were saying, to make that specifically, you know, a, a, a whole separate section of the festival that's just in Mendham's challenge to make that like, oh, you know, make that kind of content. That's very cool. So thank you for that idea, Gary, all those ideas. Would anybody else like to share some ideas for uh, either, either, either films or ways to improve the festival? No? Well, that's okay. Um, not really sure what I can say in the last uh, 10 minutes. Um, I really do want to thank everybody for coming today. Um, I didn't really know what to expect as far as turnout, but this is great. Um, you know, regarding the link to the Zoom rooms being posted, like, that is honestly, like, that is an issue and I haven't figured out how to, you know, we were posting it uh, like way ahead of time on the website and on the social media at various places. And I just feel like that was getting us into trouble. You know, maybe, maybe if you could just post it in the description of the video. So you're going to do a video before the meeting, let's say, you know, mm -hmm. five days before the meeting and just on the day of the meeting, put the video link in the description of the video you did before when you, we announced it. That's so what they, I was you, doing though. And people were saving the link and then, you know, they had more well, of a saying, chance just, to plan to troll. Well, I just mean that it's still that, what do you mean? I mean, you're only posting the link for the period of time that the meeting is in session. So you post it right before the meeting uh, in oh, the right, description right, right. Okay. of the previous video. I see what you're saying. Yes. These people know they just go back to the video at the time of the meeting, they can get the link and then they can go to the room. I see what you're saying. I thought what I thought you were saying, Gary, was was to like if you put the video up five days ahead of time, keep the link in there for five days. No, you just say the I, link I, will yeah, appear. Yeah. Just just say the link will appear, you know, fifteen minutes before the meeting. You know. I got you. I got you. Yeah, no, I I think you're right. That's what we're gonna have to do. Um I and and on the website and on social media. So I I mean there's no other real way around it. I mean, the only other thing to do is to make it uh, is to, you know, have people email me ahead of time and tell me that they want to come and then email them back with all of, you know, with the link. And that's just too, too, uh, that's just too much. Well, I don't think um, you can stop trolls. I mean, trolls are going to be trolls. So yeah. they're going to look for the link no matter where you put it. So what's the difference? I mean, stopping me yeah. from getting the link isn't any better than, you know, stopping them. So what's the difference? I mean, if I can do it, they can do it. So I'm just saying that whatever yeah. plan you have to stop trolls, they're going to undo your plan anyway, because they're planning on being there. You, you yeah. know what I mean? So. Yeah. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's, I guess that's what I'll do in the future. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah. So the next, the next info session on this will be February 21st, I do believe. Um, and with any luck, I will act, I will be putting out quite a bit of uh, uh, videos about this on both Federal Films and the A and I channel to kind of uh, get people get people rolling on this. Um, but yeah, just uh, like I, you know, I know I've, I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but really the best thing to do to help the festival, even if you don't plan on submitting, is sharing that link. Um, because you know, because of the issue of uh, of not being able to uh, have have the link actually searchable within the database, um, so I really do appreciate anybody and everybody that uh, would would care to share the link around. That's sort of it for this time. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your effort and such. Yeah, Gary. Thank you for coming. Thank you to all all of you for coming. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, uh, so I have, I did want to, I forgot to mention this earlier, really. I have recorded this, so, um, you know, I, I will put this up on, um, on the, on the A&I channel uh, shortly, in, in, the, in, the, in, in, in a few hours, perhaps. Um, so anyway, yes, yeah, so thank you, everybody, once again, for coming. Um, I guess I'll close out for now, so long as there aren't any, any, any questions? No? All right, and now I've got to get to the door. All right, take care, everybody. Thank you so much again. Oh, bye, bye, bye. All right, bye. See ya. Thanks again.